I'm Julie Holland from Channel 5's News at 11. Today's discussion, does friending your child on Facebook constitute as a privacy invasion and thus undermine their autonomy? Many young adults who are individuating from their parents may feel threatened by the implication it holds for their privacy. For example, the transition to college typically represents an important shift in autonomy and privacy for the parent-child relationship. Part of the transition is living independently from one's parents for the first time, which often means fewer privacy restrictions. Having a parent as a friend on one's Facebook may make it difficult to maintain privacy and subsequently negatively affect the parent-child relationship. In order to gain insight on whether or not friending their children on Facebook causes less autonomy or privacy invasion, we will hear from behavioral psychologist Fred Klaus, an expert on family communication, Joanne Thompson. So Fred, what are some reasons as to why young adults choose to not accept their parents on Facebook? Well, Julia, according to research, young adults choose not to accept their parents as friends on Facebook for numerous reasons. Firstly, you have the fear of the potential for parents to embarrass them, and secondly, a fear of disappointing or worrying their parents due to content they may post. Some young adults even feel anxious about friending parents because it would allow parents to have the option of contacting their friends, and vice versa. These in turn merges family and social life, allowing friends insight into the lives of the user's family members. This causes a child to feel like he or she has a lack of control or what information the parents might access. Very interesting. So why do some parents feel the need to create these Facebook accounts and add their child on Facebook? Well, you see, Julia, that some parents may feel isolated from their child's life. Facebook thus serves as a platform for the parent who psychologically feel like they are involved in the child's life. They can do this by reading information on their child's profile that the child does not talk about with them. But if the, if the parent talks to the child about his or her feelings reading the child's postings, it could be perceived as a privacy violation, creating boundary turbulence in their relationship. Well, Fred, thank you so much for your insight on this topic. Now, we will turn to renowned family communication expert, Joanne Thompson. So, Joanne, who are more likely to accept their parents' friend requests? Sons or daughters? Great question, Julia. According to various research, daughters are more likely to accept a friend request from their parent, as typically, women are more relationally oriented and they are more concerned about the potential repercussions associated with not friending their parents on Facebook. However, men are more reluctant to allow their parents access to their Facebook accounts because they are less open to face-to-face -face communication and online interactions. Research indicates that men generally express intimacy through doing, whereas women express intimacy through shared conversation and open dialogue. I can see that. But Joanne, are there some negative impacts of Facebook on parent-child relationships? Well, Julia, according to one of my studies, the negative impacts depends upon the nature of the relationship before the parent actually creates a Facebook account. It is too simplistic to assume that a parent friending his or her child on Facebook produces the same outcomes for all parent-child relationships. In particular, it is reasonable to believe that if a parent and child had little conflict before the parent joined Facebook, their relationship should remain relatively stable after the parent joins Facebook. However, if the parent and child had a conflicted relationship before the parent joined Facebook, the parent's presence on Facebook would exasperate the feeling as if the parent invaded the child's privacy, further diminishing the quality of the relationship and the child's personal autonomy. The most important finding, though, is when young adults friend their parents on Facebook, they are choosing to release the information contained to their profile to their parents. Users strategically manage both the breadth and depth of personal information that they disclose, depending on perceived privacy risks. 
However, even if younger adults feel like they have control over their private information because of privacy control settings, they may have very little control over what information their parents post about them. And this is the point in time where they feel a loss of autonomy and privacy. Well, Joanne, that is very true. Thank you for your insight. So there you have it, folks. As Joanne concluded, children feel a loss of autonomy and privacy, most when it's parents who make posts about them, and not necessarily when the child posts. It would be interesting to see whether parents also manage their Facebook privacy boundary to project a particular image to their children. But you will have to wait to find out. From all of us at Channel 5 News, stay classy, San Diego.